anybody have any questions to what I just said? Okay. So, let me, if you open up your workbook and go to page one and just flip through page three and so on, the first couple pages are just DCA required things that we don't have any input on. So, um, pages six, seven, and eight, up to page eight, um, that's, that's all, all required language that has to be in the, in the comp plan, and um, there's nothing that we're changing on that. Uh, where our work tonight starts <coughs> is on page nine. Are there okay. additional workbooks? Um, if there are no more in the back, we don't have any more. And uh, what we'll do is also, if you sign in with your email, we will email you <coughs> any uh, further modifications from here. So uh, then it's up to you to print them out and uh, bring the revised workbooks to the next workshops. Should be two. Um, okay, plan elements, goals. If you look on page nine, <laughs> that's where your goals are. And uh, we'll start out, um, and these are the ones that, that you developed in your last comprehensive plan. And uh, it's, you know, I'm, I'm not, this is your plan, I'm not telling you what to do with them. So um, I'd like you to read them, and we'll go through one by one. And uh, then let me know if you want to continue with that goal, if you want to change it, delete it, revise it. Um, anything you want can, to do? Can you it? read out the goal for those of us who don't have a booklet? Sure. Population. That's the population goal. To ensure overall community growth and development benefits in all segments of the increasingly diverse population. There's probably four all segments. It should be four all segments but to ensure overall community growth and development benefits for all segments of the increasingly diverse population. Now bear in mind your goals are just umbrella terms. It's not, I wouldn't use the word for in that. The word benefits is used as a verb. Not as a to word. ensure overall community growth and development. Oh, benefits. Benefits is the verb, yes. To ensure that overall community growth and development benefits all segments of the increasingly diverse population. Huh? Julie, I'm not sure if uh, now's a good time, but to me, something that took place uh, in 2013 and 2014 that Ariel uh, and you handed out earlier was what was called the Common Community Vision. Mm -hmm. um, that probably was the biggest update we had that was related to this conference plan in the last 10 years since mm -hmm. it was last done. Um, Corey and Todd, the planners of the Regional Commission, actually completed that study. Um, went through and looked at about 25 plus plans around the community, mm -hmm. um, including the school systems, um, the hospital, mm -hmm. universities, etc. And one of the things that they did was they took everyone's vision, everyone's goals, and tried to come here and get some common elements. Mm -hmm. um, to me, the vision they came up with, and this was adopted by the NPO in the beginning of 2014, right. along with the goals that they came up with, in my opinion, are better representative than these goals from about 10 years ago. And so I know that's a very broad, arching statement, but you know, my plan is to try to give that to you and Ariel in, in writing, um, because I do think that the, the survey they did for the community did a very good job of trying to say, where is everyone's plan, say, for their goals and their vision, to try to comprehensively come together. Um, these goals certainly work at the time, and they still work. Mm -hmm. I just believe that document and the goals they propose are an improvement and kind of better represent the community. The only place that I found, um, to me, that was not represented in the study they did, and said it's garnered so much attention recently, was the animal welfare and animal control. So, 
I would just kind of prop that up. I know you handed out copies of that document in the past, but from a yeah, planning we're standpoint, have some here too. From a planning yeah, standpoint, and for those what, goals were very well represented for the community. Yeah, for what, and, and I agree with Jason that, that these goals are what, what are goals. There are 18 different goals in this document, and many of them are overlapping. Uh, so there are several for economic development, economic development land use, economic development land use, economic development education, intergovernmental coordination, in, in, economic development education, health and safety, health and safety, health and safety. Um, these are goals, however, there are also policy statements. Um, in my opinion, and that's just my opinion, these are too specific to be overarching goals. I think they are very good statements, and I think we definitely should use them, but maybe put them under policies. So if you have a health goal, which you have a community wellness goal. And there are several statements in here that are very specific to health and safety. <coughs> Develop a high coordinated, highly trained emergency disaster response team. To me, that's much more specific than an overarching comprehensive plan goal. Um, that should be a policy or an objective underneath that goal. So I think we should use them all and we should incorporate them but I think they are a little too specific for an actual comprehensive plan. They're great for a community vision, but imagine your comprehensive plan needs to be overarching and general enough that your policies, your objectives, and your programs all fit underneath, and it needs to give you enough wiggle room for the next 10 years that everything will fit in here. So, um, you know, as goals, I think these are great to put under your goals as sub goals or policies and I think these are great statements I um, think they're a little bit too specific and too overlapping to to be um, goals in themselves for the comprehensive plan I think they do the same mm -hmm. can, can I ask so if you look at that let me just let me make sure I understand this the common community vision how old is this document? 2013, 2014. And, and this, uh, the draft we are looking at for the comprehensive plan update, when was, when was this? That text was written in 2006. Okay. So if you go to page 16 of the document that's titled well, Common Community Vision, mm -hmm. which has mission statements, it looks like the, the the headings used in here correlate with the uh, community goals that are listed. Is that what you're trying to sort of marry this document with this? Yes. 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 We, want, we definitely want to marry them. Yes. And uh, you're right. On page 13, that community vision, uh, that's on, on page 13, um, is certainly much shorter and much more concise than the one that is right now on page 9 in your comprehensive plan. So that is, is a very good suggestion, is, is to replace the new community vision with the old one. We were actually just going a step further and already looking at the other goals. So how does it, what are you, you know, I'm only after the state in this one we found a few years ago. How do you expect in the involvement of this group that's here tonight? Are you literally going to go through each yes. page? And yes, you, you are the ones that are writing, rewriting, or updating the comprehensive plan. It's not me. But I feel that some, there is a step missing here, that there is already a document that was created by the professionals with a lot of public input, but this, this information hasn't been translated yet into the comprehensive plan. If you're talking about, no, it has not. If you're talking about the community vision document, no, that has not been because the, the comp plan has not been updated yet. And it's up to this group or any other stakeholder to let us know how we want to integrate this and what parts of it and, and any other statements, um, you know, out of, out of 
this document into this. Um, some may overlap, some may not, some may be new. You know, we, we are just here to basically write down your ideas. <coughs> we are not the ones who are updating your comprehensive plan. And that's why I said this, this is a workshop where you have to go, where we have to go through this and you tell us, is this vision still up to date? Is this goal still up to date? Do you want it revised? Do you want it deleted or changed? This is not something that we're doing for you. Yes, sir. Do you have any extra copies of this if you want everybody's input? We brought 20 copies of each and emailed copies out to everybody that was on the list. So we did not bring any additional copies. Well, how are we supposed to participate? Well, I'm, this reading, is, I'm reading them, and then you can participate. Well, that's, that's, that's quite unrealistic, isn't it? Why? Because we need to see the text. If, as you say, the texts are important, the words mean something, we need to see the text side by side so that we can react to them. I can't react orally to you reading one long bureaucratic sounding thing and asking me how it compares with another long bureaucratic sounding thing. This lady's point I think is quite right. I mean you've got a nine-year-old document and a three-year-old document that never have been correlated and reconciled and now you have some interested citizens who are here and yep. we're not the ones to reconcile these documents. It's you wasting everybody's you time. You are exactly the It's wasting everybody's right. time not to have a correlated document first that we, we can then react to. We can't correlate it because we well. cannot update the comprehensive plan without everybody's direction. This just seems hopeless to me. It's, it's your choice to participate or not. Well, how can I meaningfully participate without a text in front of me? Well, we provided plenty of copies and we emailed copies out. So, you know, there, there I guess I'm not on the email list. We've got about 30 people probably, and so we could, um, I know we brought at least 15 copies, so we can probably just kind of double up and uh, share, um, share copies together. If anyone wants to sit here next to me, they can uh, look at uh, look at my stuff that I have here. Here's, I think I have a, a draft. Somebody just handed me a draft February 22nd, 2016. Multi-page document. It's 100 pages long or so, 98. Um, no, 102 or something like that. What other document do I need to reconcile with this 100 and two page one. The other one is this, the, this that we had with the oh. scars on the cover. May I come and up there so, and look at yours? Or? Yeah, please do. Please yeah, take yours. I don't mean to be negative, but I, I just think to see everybody on the side. Sorry. Right. 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 Well, share a copy of the I've got there's someone else here too. Uh, someone else wants to share. All right. So the first portion is the community vision on page nine. And we had a suggestion to replace the community vision from the Greater Lounge document with the lengthy one that is already on page nine. Any discussion on that? The more concise one on page 13 of the community vision document says a resilient community where partnerships and coordination promote regional success in economic development, education, infrastructure, and a high quality of life. So who, who would want to not have that be the vision for their community? Right. I think it's a very well-crafted vision. So 
I see a lot of nodding heads. Is that then the consensus to replace the old vision with this new one out of the community vision document? What was the old one? Okay. Okay. And that being said, Julie, I think there's some statements and ideas in the old community vision that should necessarily be pointed out to perhaps incorporate or make sure we at least recognize some of those thoughts later on and some of the goals and policies. Correct. Yeah. Julie, could I ask another question? Sure. Would we have to, if the goals are organized, so there is, there is the overall uh, community vision, and then there are these goals of the group. So it's the idea that each goal is then underneath that they will each have their objectives and policies. This yes, is, they all, the, yes, each, each of goal. those goals has issues and opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, issues. And then each of those issues will translate into action items in the short term work program. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, we do need to have a series of goals broken down that support the overall vision. Correct. Yes. So if, if one of our goals was to have a um, active community something, healthy lifestyle, to have a healthy lifestyles in our community as one of our goals, then a sub thing under that could be to have food forest. That would be implementation of that or to have you know, so you'd have a big thing because um, healthy lifestyles has to do with the, that very last thing. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, and that could be an opportunity, you know, which would then translate into a, a action item in the five-year work program, or it could be a policy, uh, which is not not it's in itself a specific project, but it could be, you know, support uh, food forest programs, and then. You can make as an opportunity or an action item. You can do a very specific project uh, for that program. Well, or or even in, in thinking in terms of food forest, when people are redoing landscaping, that they could put in edible plants as one of their choices. They wouldn't have to, but it would be a choice of plants that they could choose from yeah. to do that. Yeah, and you could say, on for a policy, you can say encourage that. You know, and then you could also do a specific action item in the five-year work program and, and say, you know, change change the zoning code to um, or revise the applicable zoning codes to encourage these kinds of items. And that's then a specific project. So everything from from the goals gets drilled down and into issues and opportunities, and then also into policies that fall under those issues as well. So nothing will fall through the cracks. Anything can be picked up in any one of those items. Where does, for instance, responsible conservation of our natural resources fit? Does that have to go under high quality of life? That would go under natural and cultural resources. But I'm looking at the common community division. You only have four things that you focus on. Economic development, education, infrastructure and a high quality of life. So where does No, we're looking at the comp plan. If you look on page nine of the comp plan, that is the document that we're revising. And that document has population, housing, economic development, natural and cultural resources, land use, community facilities and services, intergovernmental coordination, and community wellness. But you just said you were talking, you were, the motion was to replace the, the community vision with this one. It doesn't say anything about that reason. The high quality of life, it, again, the vision is even mo more overarching than the goals. The goals define the vision. I, I understand. Yeah, I understand. so that the would be, that should go under high quality of life. That could also go under economic development because if you I think to a lot of people it's important enough that it already said. Right, okay. okay. And that's what's missing out of this communication. How about preservation of our architectural heritage? Where would that go under these four quality of life? You you've really focused on 
Four things. You're setting a resilient community <coughs> that will promote regional success and A, economic development. R number one. Okay, fair enough. Economic development. B, education. C, infrastructure, which really is part of economic development. And finally, as a throwaway, I guess, a high quality of life. Everything that a lot of people in the room in the county are, is that, are interested in, you're jamming on the high quality of life okay. without any other further differentiation. This document was not developed by us. Well, who else This did? document was developed by the citizens and residents and various community visioning documents of the county and the city. So now the comprehensive plan is the document that we're looking at tonight. And the comprehensive plan is a lot more <coughs> comprehensive than the community vision. So well, what good is a community vision if it just says apple pie and motherhood are great? Well, that's, it's, you know. What good is it to have a vision if it doesn't really say anything? Well, if you want to revise it and add preservation and add cultural resources into it, I mean, that's up to you all. That's certainly okay. I don't know. I'm, you know, if, if you, about. if, oh. if you, I mean, this gentleman is making the suggestion that the vision out of this community vision document it is means. now too general mm -hmm. and not specific enough for the comprehensive plan. So he is suggesting that it does not address any concerns that you would might have on cultural preservation of cultural resources or natural resources. So I'm asking, you know, what is the what is your take on it? <coughs> Should the vision that you all had said to replace the very detailed vision that's right now in the comp plan with this one, should that be amended to include cultural preservation of cultural resources or natural resources? I think, I think the community needs to rely on our, uh, our sure enough planners to to uh, have the, to know when when and at what tiers that we go into the into the different um, the the drill down the, the goals and the object the objectives. Um, we started this meeting with the concept of marrying these two together and I'm in agreement with some others in this room that this isn't the forum to, to accomplish that because the words do matter and whenever whenever you're doing a master plan you always get into this argument how much how much detail do you get into or or how generic can you make it and still have it mean something to somebody and so that's why there's got to be tiers and levels that that uh, are are um, sort of looked after by sure enough planners. Right. right. Yeah. And and that's one of the reasons too why a community vision and overall tend to be quite general to be overarching and all encompassing of things and then you go into the goals and that's where you become a lot more specific so you have the vision up on top and then the goals are kind of like the support columns of the vision and detail the vision and explain it a lot more you know so and that's where the eight goals come in that you have in the comprehensive plan and in that way, you can actually kind of marry those two documents already a little bit by putting the newer vision into the comprehensive plan 
and then using the uh, eight goals out of the comprehensive plan modified perhaps to um, to support that vision and to flesh it out and to provide more detail. Well, earlier, excuse me, uh, earlier you, you seemed to think that the goals were too detailed. The goals uh, out of, not the goals out of the comprehensive plan, the goals out of the community vision, oh. they, they are very detailed. Okay. And so, you know, they are much better to go under the goals of the comp plan and flush them out. Again, provide more detail to those goals <coughs> as objectives and policies. Can you, can you, could I ask some other? Sure. Can you, can you put some other clarification? Yeah. On page nine. Uh huh. It starts off with <coughs> the big heading. It says, it says plan elements, and then number one is community goal. Underneath that, it says community vision. Uh huh. With like about a dozen lines of right. stuff. Right. Right. My understanding is that what the simplified common community vision mm -hmm. in this document mm -hmm. is to replace that very long paragraph. That was the suggestion. The goals are to remain. Right. Are we all on the same page? Because I have a feeling that some folks are thinking of the community vision text replacing the goals. Maybe I am misunderstood. No, no, just the vision. Okay. Just the vision. Well, Julia, I have a problem yeah. on that. Um, I mean, we've got really, a, some people think of choice between a very long version from 10 years ago, the very right. short version from two years yeah. ago. I think there's a way to merge them together. Um, I like the idea of shortening it, but mm -hmm. perhaps what is in the community vision is a little bit too short in terms of leaving out some important topics. <coughs> if you look at the conference of plan, page nine, under community vision, line number six, it sort of picks up um, the community's quality of life, mm -hmm will be sustained through in the list of a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. So perhaps in the common community vision language, you know, when I read that, there's a lot of things perceived to be under high quality of life. And I think the idea is to flesh that out into some topics. So maybe keep the common community vision statement and simply add on to it. Mm -hmm. So in the high quality of life, that is sustained through preservation of, and then list some of these things that are in the old comp plan text. I don't have yeah. the exact wording, and I would pick and choose some of them. Right, right. But I agree, I agree with you. Get yeah. more topics in the common sure. community. And then maybe two, three lines to it, and I think that's plenty. Yeah. And I, I, I think that um, Matt and Dean both make a very important point: is that the comprehensive plan is. Uh, a professional document made by people who really know how planning works and are going to have to execute that document. And so we really need to use the expertise of our planners and <coughs> with the input, but not to say that citizens know everything, because I know the citizens don't know everything and we don't know how important, look, Bill says, citizens don't know everything. Um, <laughs> but as a community, we can figure out all those things. So so Mr. Odom says that, you know, uh, preservation of buildings is important and preservation of the environment is important. That's important, you know, for him. And maybe when we were making the community vision, he didn't maybe know about that to be able to get his voice in that document. So to take the pieces from the common community vision, which is very broad, and supplement it with the detailed things which we know that our community is going to have to execute as the plan is the right way to go. I agree with that. And this gentleman read a few of the goals from page 9 of the longer document. The last line has a summary that I think is very important. Overall, the community's attractive, family-oriented, small-town, rural nation will have been protected through a continued sphere of open communication, etc. But somebody somewhere along the line thought it was important to protect our community's family-oriented, small town, and rural nation. And I don't see much in any of this about protecting and encouraging agriculture, which still is a very important part of our county's economic life and social fabric. We've got to think about the social fabric and things like that get lost in all this talk of, you know, these vagaries of economic, vague things of economic development, infrastructure, 
and so forth. To me, the community <coughs> goals drafted by whomever drafted them in this comprehensive plan much better articulate an attractive vision that people can pretty well embrace. So I guess I'm seconding his point. <laughs> My deviation from points just made are this, that the community vision ought to be something very, very brief that the, that the community can latch on to and embrace. And then perhaps we capture all those things that, that, you're, that you're talking about in the purpose and then go into the goal. But in terms of the vision, um, when, when I'm involved in a strategic plan, we try to get that vision to be short, concise, something that the entire community can, can latch on to, embrace, and uh, recite uh, it pretty much on cue. Right. Okay. And therefore be something that's identifiable and, uh, for everybody in the community. I think it's a matter of process, Jose, it may be a good idea to have a draft candidate mm -hmm. then we go through the rest of the goals and policies and the of parts, and at the end of all that, revisit the overall community vision statement and see if we want to tweak it a little bit based Correct. on all the detail that we've yeah. talked about. And, and that's what we're going to do, too, we'll with, with to any it. of the revisions yeah. that we're doing today. For the next meeting, you will have a revised document with, with revisions as were suggested today, and then we'll look at it again, and then you can tweak it, and we can tweak it all along the entire process. So nothing that you say today is cast in stone. If we come back, when you read it, then the next meeting, say, oh, no, this is not exactly what we meant, you know, um, then we can go back and, and revise it, revise it even further. So um, I guess for now, we're taking away from, from your comments that we're going to take the vision from the, from the community vision document, put it, replace this old very lengthy vision with it, uh, tweak it a little bit so that we explain community uh, quality of life a little further, and then expand the purpose a little bit to uh, bring in some of the other community vision that was in there, but have it explanatory in the purpose. And that way we capture everything from the old vision, but have as a vision a clear and concise one, um, like you had mentioned. So, and... Um, and I think more probably too, it will yeah. help cut on the topics of goals. And my next thought was moving along. Right. We've got two sets of goal 